Hi everybody, this is Mr. Vanderzee, and today we're going to be talking about how to film video using QuickTime Player on your MacBook, and then save that clip and import it into iMovie for editing. So the first thing we need to do is open QuickTime Player. The way I usually do this is hit Command Space to get the launcher, and start typing it, QuickTime Player. But you can also use the little spotlight up here, or the launch pad there, or go to your applications. But QuickTime Player is now open. It doesn't look like it is, but it is because we can see up here it says QuickTime Player. And we see the little blue and gray Q down there. So I'm going to go to File, New Movie Recording. And there's my lovely face. Okay, I need to make this smaller so I don't scare myself. And because honestly, if I drag this up here toward the top center, it helps me look at the camera more because I tend to look at my face, and you probably do too. It's natural. So now I hit record, and I can record a little clip. If I want to uh, adjust the microphone choice or webcam choice before filming, uh, you would select that here. But I'm just using the built-in stuff right now. And when I'm done, I hit stop. And then I save this clip. And so I file save. I'm going to save mine on my desktop. Um, test clip 2. This is my second try filming this, so test clip 2. <laughs> And there we go. I have saved it to my desktop. You can see it right down here. And the next thing I'm going to do is open iMovie. So once again, command space, start typing it. iMovie. Okay, if I go back to uh, projects, here's what I want to do. And I already started a new one, but you will probably want to hit that plus button uh, to start a new one. And you can name it whatever you want. This is my test movie. And what I'm going to do here is, it'll probably show you some media that you could import up above, but I, I have mine that I still haven't imported yet. And the easiest way i found to import stuff is just to drag it on over. So test clip 2, drag it onto my timeline here, and we're good to go. Now, I can... Um, edit it further. I can add music. If you go to the audio part up here, uh, you can find little jingles and stuff you can add, or you can find your own music on your hard drive or in iTunes. Uh, you can add titles. Uh, don't forget you can adjust the volume if the volume is too high or too low. Um, you can adjust that right there. Uh, you can move things around and um, all that stuff. Do all your editing that you need to do here. So. Now, don't forget that when you are finished uh, editing your video, putting all your clips together or whatever, you will need to hit that share button, and you want to share it as a file, and however your teacher wants you to hand it in, uh, perhaps by uploading it to YouTube and sending them the link, or perhaps uh, airdropping the file, whatever they have set up for you, but usually you want to just go uh, share and then file, and that's how you save it as a viewable video file. All right, so once again, just to review, you open QuickTime Player, you hit record and start recording a video, you save it, and then you drag it on into iMovie for further editing. If you have any questions about this, ask your teacher or come on by the help desk. Thanks, everybody. Take care.